Hi guys, now I'll tell you basic things about the tremolo technique. It's quite a tricky and difficult technique and when you start to practice tremolo you really have to be precise and be patient. Uh, remember to keep good sound, good rhythm, basic things. And uh, you have to practice it a lot that uh, you will have uh, good results. Mm. Classical tremolo is four notes usually, and uh, flamenco tremolo is five notes. Little difference there, but you should be able to play both <laughs> in the end. Um, when you start to practice it, you can just play three strings. And now I start with the flamenco tremolo start right away. So the fingering goes thumb and then index ring middle index so like this and then you can switch that you play the second string with these fingers and the thumb plays normally this lower strings And uh, play slow enough and be patient, as I mentioned. This technique takes time to control. Uh, and there's also differences between strings, because uh, when you play with the first string, this is much easier compared to second string. So I recommend, you can choose, it's your, you can practice however you like, but uh, I recommend that right away, when you are a little bit familiar with the first string, that you can play a little bit, for example. Then right away concentrate the second string. Because if you are able to play the second string well, it means that you should be able to play the first string also. But if you can only play the first string, it doesn't mean that you can play the second string. Because the second string is so much more difficult. So remember to play both strings and I would say that play more this second string uh, actually this uh, Reguados de la Alhambra is really good tremolo exercise it's classical song and it is a four note tremolo but it's really good because it's uh, most of the time the tremolo is played on the second string so you will practice right away the more difficult string this um. but uh, anyway this um don't start with this song i want put there any sheet music that you don't play this first of all <laughs> because you have to start easier uh, the good chords to play are for example this uh, this kind of exercise first when you have a practice with three strings and then like this then you can start with for example C major quite good and uh, you can keep on playing this short exercise and you can start with the first chord of course you don't have to play through the whole melody just play for example
But point is, when you are practicing tremolo, and actually whatever you are practicing, remember when you are learning a new technique, your left hand, for example, if you are uh, uh, learning a new technique for the right hand, it means that your left hand should be, first of all, easy enough that you don't have to concentrate too much to your left hand because everything is away from the right hand. So here, when you start tremolo, first you start with the free strings. Now you only have to concentrate to the right hand. And then, when you are a little bit better with tremolo, then you put easy chords, for example, this... Uh, and then... I don't even change the string here. Like this. And then, when you are done with this, then you can add some melody there, for example. And so on. And uh, this is the way to build up the technique. That you put a little bit more and more uh, stuff there, but you don't start right away with the most difficult things. So, this is the way. <coughs> and remember the sound. Uh, it's quite personal question what kind of nails you do you should have when you play tremolo. I can't say uh, directly what kind of nails are good. I have this this kind of nails, but uh, it's a uh, you just have have to feel and try to learn what shape, what length, and so on would be best for you. <laughs> But one thing is for sure, you don't play only with the nails. You First you grab the string with the tip of the finger and then the nail finalizes the sound. So if they are long in, uh, too long, it means that you, they get stuck in the string and it's not good. So sound, the sound is produced by the tip of the finger and also the nail. And if we are really precise, the, po uh, the goal is that ev you shouldn't be able to recognize which finger is playing. It's that every note should sound more or less the same. And it's really tricky. And sometimes it's even Im almost impossible. But that's the goal, what we should try to achieve. So that... Keep that in mind when you are practicing this. It needs only a little scratch there in the nail, and the sound is a little bit different compared to its mm, to other fingers. But yeah, this is the basic tremolo thing, and uh, when you practice tremolo, remember these things. Easy enough, the material, I mean, it should be easy enough for the left hand. And then start with the first string, only open strings, and then move almost right away to the second string, because it's much more tricky to play. And then when you are done with that, you step by step go a little bit further, some chords to the left hand, and then after, after that, some melodies here and there, and finally you will develop more and more. And remember the rhythm, practice with metronome, and the sound, and you are on the good path. So, keep on practicing, and do it well!